Hi everyone, happy Friday and welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Deirdre from the Advocate Good Shepherd Health and Fitness Center and it's Five Minute Friday. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my favorite protein smoothie recipe. Now I say smoothie because it's not necessarily a shake. A shake is just gonna be your protein powder mixed with some sort of a liquid, such as water or an almond milk. In my smoothie, I'm gonna be adding all these yummy, delicious ingredients that are gonna add up to be great carbs, fats, and protein all in one. So I just finished my workout, it's almost lunchtime, and I'm gonna go ahead and make this shake to satisfy all my good macronutrients like those protein, carbs, and fats I just mentioned. Whereas a protein shake I might have as a snack or in between meals if I'm hungry. Um, it could be good for people who are working and they can't necessarily have a meal. Maybe a nurse might have to have a protein shake behind the scenes to get it down quickly, but she might not be able to have a full meal at that time. So let's get started on this delicious recipe. Um, as you can see here, I have a little pup right here. Tucker is sleeping, they're both sleeping. I'll have to show you guys, they're so cute, but he won't be in the video with us today. Um, so I hope you guys like the video. Please subscribe to our channel. We got great content coming up. And next Friday, we're gonna have a five minute Friday with Katie. So here are the pups. This is mom and baby. And baby Tucker is 10 weeks old today. They're sleeping, so they won't be helping me make my protein smoothie, but they might hear it from the blender on, so. Yay, happy Friday from everybody. All right, you guys, we have all our ingredients for our protein smoothie. So first, you're gonna need some protein powder. This is a whey protein powder, so it's a byproduct of dairy. So if you're lactose intolerant or just trying to get dairy out of your diet, you're gonna wanna do some sort of uh, protein, maybe like a pea or rice protein. So this is a vanilla. I really like to put vanillas in my smoothie because you don't really taste it. I have also here my Ninja. This is gonna be the little blender. If you don't have a Ninja, you can use a regular type of blender. You're gonna need some sort of a liquid. So you can use water or your favorite nut milk. I like to use unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And this is something I always buy at the grocery store. It's a staple for me. Next, I have my frozen fruit. So right here I have some mixed berries and some strawberry and a couple of pineapple. They're all frozen. Again, these are great to have on stock in your freezer. Um, I like berries because they're delicious but don't have a ton of sugar in them. And then pineapple kind of adds that little bit of tropical flavor in it. I just put a couple in there. Next, I use a good fat in my shakes. Um, this is really satisfying. I use coconut oil and when you mix it up in the blender, it gets so refined that you don't even taste it when you're drinking your smoothie. Other good fats could help actually make your smoothie even creamier, smoother, such as um, avocados or um, some sort of a liquid oil. You could also do nut butters as well. And then I have some spinach here, and this is chopped frozen spinach. Okay, so I have all my ingredients in the uh, little Ninja cup here, and this is enough for one serving. It's approximately, um, eight ounces of liquid. You could also do four ounces of your favorite almond milk and then water it down with another four ounces of water. Um, so I'm gonna take this, and this you actually just flip upside down, and then you press it. All right, that is what it takes to make a protein smoothie. I plugged everything into my fitness pal. It comes to 380 calories with 31 grams of protein. So it's definitely gonna fill you guys up. The frozen fruit makes it really frosty. If you guys want it even icier, you can add something like a couple cubes of ice in there or use the spinach frozen. 
Um, so make sure you guys tune in next week. We have Katie jumping on here for the next five minute Friday. Also make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our channel. Have a good Friday, everyone.